welcome in it's a monkey mar before we get into today's video please make sure you click that subscribe button the bell for notifications and of course the like in this video i want to touch on two subjects the girl that was found on the side of highway 24 in colorado cascade colorado at the end of July 2020 who she is and I want to touch on the remains that were found in Douglas County at the disc a golf course and with that guys let's uh, get into it let me just say that Colorado in the last couple of years there are a lot of crazies that come out of Colorado. Like, we've got the woman that was found a month ago, almost to the day. And then we've got skeletal bones found in Douglas County. And I'm going to show you guys a map at the end where these crazies from Colorado live. It's just too close to one another for comfort. So, some of you may have wondered. I know I did. Who was the dead woman that was found on the side of the road? So, El Paso County Sheriff's Office identifies woman found dead on Highway 24 in Cascade. Heartbreaking. 22 years old. So, this article came out July 31st, 2020. So, Cascade, Colorado, reported by KRDO, the El Paso County's Sheriff's Office, says it was a 22 year old who was found dead on the side of the highway 24 last week in cascade deandra l duncan 22 was identified tuesday as the victim in a homicide that's currently under investigation i mean how sad deandra's friends told krdo she was an adventurous artist who was always there for her loved ones Deidre was a free spirit, kind-hearted, loving, happy, funny, ego-boosting type of girl with dozens of friends, said her friend Brianna. She loved sunflowers and hiking. We were supposed to be workout buddies, but someone stole that from us by taking her life. Oh, that makes me sad. If you met Deidre, you would have been able to feel her positive energy radiating off of her said another friend destiny she lived life to the fullest she was a true sweetheart and it was in her nature to want to be friends with anyone she met they said she was strong but beautiful she held her head up in whatever battle she faced you would have not known what she was going through destiny told us so i wonder if that means that at her age at 22 if she was going through some things in her life her smile and her beauty will leave a mark on everyone that she ever came into counter with her brother dalton said she moved to colorado from her home in the bay area of california to start a new life but when she stopped taking classes at the university of colorado colorado springs two years back he said she got into the wrong crowd Deidre's body was found on Friday, but few other details have been made available. Metro Crime Lab was on the scene investigating throughout the morning. The mobile command unit in the El Paso County's coroner's office had left the scene by noon on Friday. There are no suspects at this time. The sheriff's office is asking anyone with information to call the tip line at 719-520-6666 i don't like that number what a beautiful girl and i did contact the founder of the gofundme page which i am going to link that in the description and i asked her if there was an arrest in the case and she has not gotten back to me the reason why i'm putting these two stories together is because of how eerie the locations are of a few of the crazies that come out of Colorado. Let's get into the next story. August 27th, 2020, an article came out, which was three days ago. Human bones found at Highlands Ranch Disc Golf Course. A skull and other bone fragments were discovered. 
So the reason why I connected these articles is because there are a lot of crazies in Colorado. I mean, we can go off the list. Patrick Frazee, Chris Watts, Letitia Stouck. We've got Suzanne Morphew. Not to mention Kelsey Barrett's body is still missing from whatever Patrick Frazee did to her. And now there is a skull found at the Disc a Golf Course. Let me read this article. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office said Thursday it has begun a death investigation after deputies found human bones in Highland Ranch. At about 5.20 p.m. on Wednesday, a resident called the sheriff's office to alert them that the resident had found a human skull and other bone fragments while playing disc golf at the West Fork Disc Golf Course in Highlands Ranch. According to a press release from DCSO, the resident was searching for a disc when they discovered the bones in a ditch filled with trees and brush, according to a spokesperson. We will be working in conjunction with the Douglas County Coroner's Office to determine the cause and manner of death, according to the release. No time frame has been established yet for when the person died, a spokesperson said. The release did not indicate if foul play was suspected. Well, I'm thinking, probably. I mean, we just don't find human skulls and remains on a disc golf course. I know the golf course just opened this year but I'll get into that in a second we don't know much else at this point according to a spokesperson the coroner has to determine cause and manner we only have bones at this point so Douglas County is also posting on their Facebook page so this was two days ago on Douglas County Sheriff's Office on Facebook yesterday evening at approximately 520. So it's the same basic information that the fragments were found in the 900, 9,000 block of South Broadway and Highlands Ranch. Deputies responded to the located the bones described by the caller. The Douglas County's coroner's office also notified and responded to the scene. We will be working in conjunction with the Douglas County coroner's office to determine the cause and manner of death. At this time, we are conducting an active death investigation and no further information can be provided. And they actually posted a few more pictures of the search scene, but I'm going to show you guys a map that I said earlier, and we are going to play connect the dots with the crazies in Colorado. People have asked if, well, a lot of us think who are the bones in the disc golf park and who do they belong to? And do I think they are Suzanne Morphew? Maybe. They could be. Um, some people are like, oh, did Barry Morphew have something to do with the landscaping and the project and it was going to open up in May? I think it was actually opened a little earlier. I'm not 100%. But the disc golf course is owned by South Suburban Parks and Recreation and the Highlands Ranch Metro District. They partnered to build a disc a golf course. I do not think this place looks landscaped. I think it's natural terrain. I'm going to show you this video. But I don't know. I definitely want to hear what you guys think. And I find it very interesting. Another thing that I found interesting is if you look, I have looked on probably six different websites regarding the human skull found at the disc park and that one article says if you have any information to call I find that very telling in so many ways let me show you this map of the crazies in Colorado so here is my map of the crazies in Colorado and on top, we got the Watts house. These two through this area are 
somehow related to Trevor Null, Barry Morpheus, and Nephew. And we got Denver in the middle. And then right over here is the disc club where the skull was found. Down here, Highway 24 is where Deidre was found. To the left, we've got where Patrick Frazee lived and Kelsey Barrett is somewhere around the red marker. We got Mandon Drive. We all know who lives there. The Stelks. And then straight to the west that you search it now comes up as the Susan R. Morphew Hope Foundation, which is interesting, is where Barry and Susan Morphew live. Look at how close that is, considering how big Colorado is. And then if you look up between Highway 24, there's Monument. And what is Monument? Monument is where Letitia Evil put Dannon out in the cold before she drove him to Florida. So it's definitely a little congested area of crazies out of Colorado. Alright, this is a trigger warning, trigger warning. I am going to talk about what happens to the body when the body dies. So, if you don't want to hear it, now is the time to fast forward. Okay, so I wondered, if a body's outside in Colorado in May, how long would it take to get into a skeletal remain? So this little article basically clears up a lot of stuff, and I really hate to read this because I'm the one that gets completely peed off if I'm watching a trial and they accidentally show a crime scene photo that should not have been seen. I'm like, a why, a no, I'm scarred. So, here we go. Maggots can consume up to 60% of a human body under 7 days. This was May. The temperature I checked was about 70, 75 in a day and dipped into the 40s or the 50s at night. Also says the environment in which a dead body is placed also affects the rate of decay. For instance, bodies in water decompose twice as fast as those left unburied on land. Decomposition is slowest underground, especially in clay, other solid substances that prevent air from reaching the body. The bacteria requires oxygen to survive. Eh. Sorry guys, but I just was curious and another graft said basically after one month out in the elements, it's basically from that point on, it could start to just become a skeleton. And then the animals and who knows what else. So that's what I just wanted to touch on. Sorry for the ones that just cringed, but I just had to actually know myself so I shared it. I found it weird that this time when I put in the address to Suzanne Morphew and Barry Morphew it comes up now the Susan R. Morphew Hope Foundation. I'm gonna look further into that little business a little later but look at this map so let's just say Barry did do something. In my opinion, I do not think he is innocent of everything because he's just not acting like a husband who lost his wife after 30 years. But look at this map. So here's where Suzanne Morphew and Barry live. And if we come over, so we have two stories. He said he was working in Colorado Springs, which is right here, El Paso County. My gosh, those police detectives medical examiners they probably need extra therapy and then we have right here is where Letitia Evil lives so Barry supposedly was working in Colorado Springs but then we have the story that he was going to Denver I said earlier but you couldn't see it here's monument 
This is where Ganon was put for a few days by Letitia Eva, or the person she's going to, prove to us that it was. And then the Disc Golf Club is right here, I think. Maybe not. Let me see. Okay, the Disc Golf Club is right here. And then we have Barry going into Denver, which is right here. Going into Denver to do a training for the firefighters class. And then up here in this little dot is where Chris Watts and Shanann Watts and the beautiful girls lived. And then right down here, we've got, which I'm not saying they have anything to do with each other, I'm talking about the area. Patrick Frazee lives right here. We've got Kelsey Barrett living in this area. And we've got the girl that was found at the end of July, right here. Found on the side of the road, 22 years old. And that is the map, again, of the crazies in Colorado. Also wanted to touch on that I went to look to see if the flies were active in Colorado and those types of bugs in May. And they do say that the flies prefer warm temperatures and are most active from late spring to early autumn and spring of course is defined as March, April, and May and of course then the summer and September, October, November, autumn, fall and then of course winter, December, January, and February. And I don't know about you guys but I'm in the States and this year those flies were relentless. Alright guys with that it is a wrap. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike whichever you prefer and subscribe. Everyone stay safe from COVID and stay vigilant. Have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. I am out.